Hello and welcome to Software Pulse, building Java desktop applications and I'm John McNeil. And in today's video, we're going to look at the code that's required to define your web service. So this is the second video in a four video series. Um, the first video showed you what the web service would look like when we finish. We, we actually used SOAP UI and we called the web service and we saw the response we got back from it. Um, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a Java project. We're going to um, move into that project some some libraries, some Java libraries that we'll need later on when we come to packaging up. And we're going to write the code that defines our web service. And then um, and that's that's all we'll do in this video. And then we'll move on and look at how we package it up and then how we deploy it later. So without further ado, I'm going to I'm going to tell you the products I use as I go along. Um, um, so you'll you'll probably have to pick them up as and when you need them. Um, but um, also there'll be a link to the blog article um, at the bottom of the video. So if you want to go there, you can read all the things that you need in order to make follow this example if that's what you want to do. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to use Eclipse. Um, for Java Enterprise Edition. So that's what I'm going to switch to now. So there's my Eclipse interface and I'm going to create a um, project. So I'm going to pick other and then you can see where I go. You can see where I'm, I'm going to go for the, the file I'm looking for. So it's in the web section. Um, strange enough, not web services, but just in the web and we want a dynamic web project. Press next. And now it's going to ask you for some information. And for that, um, what I need to do is I need to refer to my my notes because um, I don't want to make any mistakes doing this. Otherwise, everything won't line up. So one of the things I will say to you is be careful about your case sensitivity when you're defining things and be consistent in the way you do things otherwise you'll find that the links won't all link up and it won't work so what we're going to do is we're going to give a name to our project um, I'm going to call it hello age the rest of the the information on here um, is basically some tools to make it easier to create dynamic um, web projects but we're not this this whole video series is about learning how to how all the bits come together all the bits work so we're not going to use tools to kind of mask what we're doing we're going to manually go through it so I'm just going to press finish and that's going to give me <coughs> my project over here and that's our project created the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import a whole load of libraries Java libraries there's quite a lot of them um, so what I've gone and done is I've gone and pulled them all down ahead of time and I'm just going to copy them and I'm going to go to the web content part of the project and in there there is a web inf and then there's a library folder and I'm going to paste everything into the library folder now to be clear I do not need these libraries for the code I'm about to write I will need these libraries when I want to come and package it up to a, into a web archive a WAR file um, I will want those libraries to go along with it so that when I deploy onto a web service all of the supporting code I need for my web service will be available to me um, so that's why I've done that so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to write our code so I'm going to go to my source folder I'm going to go right click new um, I did that with such confidence and then went Ooh. I cannot find what I want. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to define the interface. So we're just going to create an interface class. Um, what we are going to do though is we are going to define a package. Now we are going to use this package later in the whole linking up at the web service so whatever you pick here that's going to roll out on your web service later so 
it doesn't matter what you do now if you're just practicing and, and trying to understand and learn stuff that's fine put in anything but make sure you give yourself some sort of package don't just go with the default otherwise you're going to have problems when you come to call it so we um, we'll call our our web service um, hello service hello service yeah that's correct and we'll go finish and that will give us our web service stub if you like our interface stub what we're going to do now is we're going to define we're going to define a single method for our web service our web service is only going to have one method and that's what we're going to define here so we know it's going to return a string to us so the method will return a string um, we need to give our method call some a name so I'm going to call it say, let's say hello and it's going to pass a string which we know is going to be the name and it's going to pass an int which is going to be the age and there we are there's our web service interface all done and dusted there is something we need to do beforehand when we come to use one of the Java Enterprise Edition actually it's a Java Standard Edition tool for wrapping this code up um, it's going to be looking for some annotations to help it work out where the entry point is for web services and things like that so what we need to do is we need to put some annotations on the front of our our class here to say that um, this is a web service so um, we'll just do app web service like that and then what it will complain about is that it doesn't have um, an import so we'll import the the Java X um, web service library and the error goes away and that's our interface so that's that's really simple the next thing we need to do is we need to have a concrete implementation of this interface we need we need to um, write a class that implements this interface um, so that the web service actually knows what it's got to do it knows what it what entry points there are to the web service now it wants to know what to do if you should call one of these so in the same package as, as we put our interface in we're just going to do a new class last time we did an interface this time we're going to do a class and um, so we're going to call this hello service imp and then we obviously want to um, um, we want to uh, implement the uh, hello service interface we did earlier so we'll just put that in there and we'll click finish and it's brought in the method we need to implement and because this is really simple we know it's going to return a string and it's going to go hello name I understand that you are age years old um, I think that should do us I think that's good enough yeah okay so that's what we're gonna do um, I'm gonna change the at override because what we need to do here is we need to put some um, information in that the the web server will know um, for being able to connect things up connect our web service up to a an external call so at web service and then we need to do service so what was what we're saying here is <clears throat> oops oh, I've put the thing in the wrong place there we are there we are so what we're saying here is that our interface where you can find our interfaces is this package 
for, uh, finishing off with um, hello service. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. You can't see that. Um, if I use the mouse, that would be better. There we are. So software pulse dot web dot app dot hello age, which you recall was the package name we put this interface in. And then we've just put the hello service bit on the end to say that's where our endpoint is. Next, we are going to have to do uh, port name. Um, this is just a name that you just need to be consistent with what you do. So port name is just a tag that you're going to know your port by. So that will do. And then server name or service name? Service name. Which is going to be hello service. Hello service. Right. And we'll import the um, the web service. I've gone and done this again. I should have left the. It goes in at the class level, not the. the here we can keep at. Oops. We can keep at override there. Okay, that's better. Right. So there we are. So this class was saying it uses this endpoint over here. Um, the port name is hello service port and the service name is hello service. Um, and we specified those things. So when we package it all up and you deploy it onto the web service, it's going to be able to work out what it's going to do. But um, that essentially is all our code for our web service. So as you can see, it was at a Java level, it's really, really trivial. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at packaging, packaging up into a, a um, web archive file. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far and you're interested enough to come along and see the next one in the series. Um, I'm John McNeil, and this has been Software Pulse, building Java desktop applications, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.